Yep. Now we're going to talk about the one-arm dumbbell row. One-arm dumbbell row is a terrific exercise if it's actually executed properly. A lot of people are intimidated uh, when they see guys using triple-digit dumbbells for this particular exercise. And my little twist on the exercise is that if you actually do it the way that I'm going to do it, it's actually going to take more um, pressure off of the body and actually put more focus into the lats, if you will, which is really what we're doing this exercise for. The main benefit of this exercise is to add thickness, dimension, and width to the back. And it's not to see how strong our, uh, our hands are, our forearms are, in tr ripping triple-digit weights. So this exercise is really misunderstood, and here's why. The first part of this exercise is posture, right? Forget about the weight. The first part is posture. When I come down to do this exercise, my head has to be up and my chest has to be up just like this. Even if I don't accomplish anything else, guys, and I'm, I just have to stay in this position. So you'll see that my arm is firmly on the bench, elbow is slightly bent, my head up and my, and my chest is up and my knee is bent. I look like I'm getting ready for some kind of a race. Now this position, I'm very, very strong in this position. Any other position with my leg closer, I'm very, very weak. So you want to keep this uh, a little bit further away from the bench and that'll give some room here for the weight to move up. Now I also want to think about this affecting the outside of my back. If I bring this in too close, in other words, if I'm just skimming the side of the bench, I'm not really going to be working my body here, my, my lats. I'm actually going to be working sort of this area, and I'll show you what I mean. If I stay in too tight, you'll see how this really isn't going to work my lats. It's going to kind of jam me up. So my head has to be up, my chest has to be up, and what I'm going to try to do is actually execute a lat spread, so to speak, which means that my I'm going to contract my back even before I begin this exercise. So, wow, I feel it there. Then I bring my uh, shoulder out. My head is up, my chest is up, and then I grab my weight. I know it's kind of a hard thing to try, but that's what you want to do, right? Or you can start off like this. You want to execute a lat spread, and now you let the weight come down. Now this weight is coming down toward my lats and not inside my body, right? So now I've got this going, and now I pull up. Now, by the way, my lat contracted already, all right? I don't have to come up here. I'm already contracted right here. It's a very small movement. Keep the lat spread throughout the exercise, and you'll find that you're not pulling in here, right? It's out here. And that's where all the glory is, it's on the outside, not on the inside. That's why guys can use triple-digit dumbbells for this, because they're pulling up sort of in here. It's not contributing to their, uh, to their lat development, but it is kind of getting them all worked up in the shoulders and in the, uh, the traps and in the arms. Try to execute the lat spread before you even get into position for the exercise, and I think you're really going to like this exercise. And again, the dumbbell doesn't have to be triple digits. It's further away from the bench. And my head is up, my chest is up, and I exhale as I come up. My back is already contracted right here, and it's a very small movement. You get those three or four inches of that exercise, guys, and that's where all the glory is. You're going to love this.